soon. Ah. Ooh -wee. I am exhausted. Oh, you and me both. Man, what a day. Right? I need to recharge. I wonder if there's a protein bar around here somewhere. Oh. Ah, bingo! <laughs> Oh, wow. Mm. You got Delicious. another one of those? No. Get your own. Oh, I was just asking. I'm just telling. Or, or do I need to spell it out? G E T Get Y O. Okay. Okay, I'll get my own. Good. I don't know where to. Then you can quit being Mr. Mooch, man. I am not being a. Look, what has gotten into you? Nothing. Can I just eat my bar without hearing you yammy yam yam? What kind of bar is that? A fan one! <laughs> oh, it's a mean bar. I'm John. I'm Brandon. And, and welcome, welcome to The So and So Show! You're probably wondering why we're inside this tent. Uh, well, if there's one thing that John and I like to practice, it's gargling the alphabet. <laughs> yeah, but we also try to practice kindness. Uh, we're actually practicing right now by playing a game we call Intense Intense. Who's this third person? Ah! Ah! You see, John and I have been inside this tent for over 12 hours. Yeah, and so far it hasn't been bad at all. That's right, well, except for... Mm. Pass me another can of beans, please. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yep. Right. Oh, I think I'll have another can too. All right. Mmm, this is a good idea. Yeah. Right, except for that. But our goal is to stay in the tent together for 24 whole Ooh, hours. While continuing to show kindness the entire time, which sounds easy, but you know, sometimes when you're in a confined space with another human being for a long time. Yeah, you start to notice every little flaw, yeah. like every little knuckle crack or every smell, mm -hmm. every little, Clearing of the throat, that's apparently a habit, but you never noticed before when you were on the outside, but now it just <clears throat> pounds in your <clears throat> ear every time you <clears throat> hear it, and you want to scream out, why don't you just drink some water or something? It can drive you crazy. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that's not happening to us. <laughs> uh, yeah, good thing. Kindness. <clears throat> But it's more than just hanging out in a tent for a whole day. We wanted to challenge ourselves by competing in games that can sometimes get pretty intense, mm -hmm. which means the only way to make it the whole time is by being kind. And the next game is... Hot Dog Bun Slap! <laughs> That's all right, that's all right. It's, it's part of the game. Oh, good. Okay. Kindness! Kindness. <coughs> Next up, capture the flag! All right. I'm gonna get your flag. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, I'm gonna get it. No way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, man. 
told you I'd get it. Uh, you did, but you did, but I tagged you. Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't count in tent version. Oh, oh, good strategy then. Thanks. <laughs> You're a really good cheater. What was that? Nothing. Kindness. Kindness. <clears throat> now, how about a little pickleball? Oh, oh nice shot. Nice shot. Thank you. you go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. Oh. A little aggressive. Oh. Yeah, don't have to hit it that oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Oops. All right. <laughs> Man, I think that was in. Right? Yeah. Oh, That's look good. at that. You can't get me. How about that? Why are you hitting it that? so? How about this? Huh? 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 Come on. No. <laughs> it's too hard. No, right? it's not. No, yes, it's not. It is. You're hitting it too no, hard. That's the name of the game. No, it is not the game. Come it's on, yeah, it is. Look, look. Ow! Look at that. Ow. Look at that. No, no. Where is it? Oh, whoops. Ow. No, no, Ow. this is not frog ball. All right, all right. We need to take a little break. <sighs> yeah, I, I agree. <clears throat> it's Bible story time. That was an intense pickleball game. Uh, no worries, it happens. Did you know that last year there were over 19,000 pickleball injuries? What? Oh yeah, people get crazy. I actually think you guys were handling the competitiveness pretty well. You do? Yep, until the end there. But I love that you guys are practicing being kind. That's actually what today's Bible story is all about. Then take it away. Yeah, take it, take it away. Okay, quick setup slash recap. Today's Bible story is actually three separate stories all about Jesus and how he showed kindness. You could say these are some of Jesus's greatest hits. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Hold uh, your uh, horses. It is clearly stated in our contract, if you say Bible story, recap, and greatest hits all in the same paragraph, then you are obliged to have me, Mel Solomon, and my brother-in-law Greg on the show. It's down there in the addendums, right next to having chicken salad in the dressing room. I like tuna salad. Enough chit-chat, Greg. Tickle those ivories. Glad you came, glad you're here. I know it's getting late, but never fear. We'll give a blow-by-blow -blow of the Bible story. On the Mel Solomon Story Recap! Thank you, thank you. Hey, you just do your thing, and Greg and I will add some sporadic but much needed musical support. I get pain in my sciatic. Have you tried Zumba? I hear it works wonders. We'll talk later. Let's get to this thing. Go! Um, right. Okay, so Jesus was very kind, as you know. The four Gospels are filled with stories of Jesus' kindness. The first one we're going to tell today happened when Jesus encountered a man who had a skin disease. Oh, 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 skin problems. You know all about that, don't you, Greg? Just when I ate chocolate. Play the song I'm thinking of. Oh. You wake up happy, you soon turn sad. You stare in the mirror and smile a bit, then you see a zit. Now you're not happy, you're really sad But there's an answer and it's so simple Just pop that pimple And make sure you clean off the mirror What happened next in the story? Um, actually this skin problem was a little more serious than that 2,000 years ago, if you had a skin disease, you were an outcast People didn't want to have anything to do with you Because they were afraid they might catch it but Jesus wasn't afraid. When the man got down on his knees in front of Jesus and said, Lord, if you're willing to make me clean, you can do it. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing to do it, he said. Be clean. And right away, the man was healed of his skin disease. Whoa, ho oh, ho, Jesus healed him just like that? Isn't that incredible, Greg? Greg. Greg! <laughs> Pimple popper! Simmer down, Greg. You're having a day, Mayor. Oh. So, when everyone else was trying to move away from the man with the skin disease, Jesus 
was moving toward him? That's right. Jesus was kind and he showed the man that he was valuable. Jesus did that a lot. He chose to spend time with people that no one else would. People like children. You see, believe it or not, back then, if you were a kid, you didn't get a lot of respect. You were often overlooked. But with Jesus, it was different. There was this one time when some people brought little children to see Jesus because they wanted Jesus to pray for them. But the disciples tried to shoo the children away. We know what that's like, don't we, Greg? <laughs> you remember when we got shooed off the stage in Hoboken? Every day. But a song came out of it. Uh -huh. Hit it, Greg. So mean. Why you gotta be so mean? We just wanted to sing for you, but instead you kicked us in the spleen. Ow. So rude. Why were you so rude? We were there to entertain you, but no, we were shooed off the stage. How'd the little kiddos react when they were rebuffed? Oh, well, actually, Jesus didn't let it happen. When the disciples tried to shoo the children away, Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Don't keep them away. The kingdom of heaven belongs to people like them. Then Jesus blessed them and prayed for them. Jesus, he was kind to everyone, even people who were disliked by everyone else. There was this guy named Matthew, he was a tax collector. And back in those days, tax collectors were disliked because they were known for cheating people out of their money. But Jesus actually chose Matthew to be one of his closest disciples. And later that day, Jesus had dinner at Matthew's house with the other tax collectors. He did that, even though everyone else despised them. Well, you know what song that reminds me of, don't you, Greg? The one about the turnip! <laughs> That's the one. Hit it. I've been looking everywhere for something exactly like you. I don't care what the others say that you're bitter and just won't do. I know you've been thrown away, discarded and torn up, but you're exactly what I'm looking for, because you're a turnip. Beautiful, Greg. Yeah. A little flat, but beautiful. Thank you. So. How'd everybody else feel after they saw Jesus hanging with the tax collectors? Ooh. Actually, the religious leaders at the time didn't like it at all. When they saw Jesus having dinner, they asked his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and replied, those who are healthy don't need a doctor. Sick people do. I have not come to get those who think they are right with God to follow me. I have come to get sinners to follow me. So, in case you missed it, Jesus was kind to people who were sick and needed help. He was kind to people who were often overlooked and forgotten, and Jesus was kind to people no one else was kind to. Basically, Jesus showed us how to be kind. And when we follow his example, we can help share God's love with the people around us. Wow. You know, I think that calls for one last song to wrap things up in a bow. What say you, Greg? Yeah. Play the tune. There are people in your life filled with worry and strife. There are people who need a hand. There are people who are praying you would notice how their day's been when it hasn't turned out how they planned. So be kind to those people when you meet them every day. Just like Jesus showed us, kindness goes a long way. Wow, th that was lovely. Thank you guys so much. Anytime. You are welcome. So, what'd you think, fellas? 
Jesus gave us perfect examples of how we should treat others. Yeah, and he didn't just do it for a day. Mm. He did it over and over. He showed us how to be kind. Uh, I think we needed that encouragement. No problem. Until next time, see ya. <clears throat> Would you like some water? Oh, yes, please, thank you. <sighs> Reveal the question! What does kindness look like? Yeah, it could be standing up for someone who's being picked on. Or inviting someone new over to play video games. Yeah, it could be a helping hand. Or just a perfectly timed smile. Kindness is something you need to keep practicing. And speaking of, we still got 11 hours left. Do you think we can make it? We're gonna give it our best shot. Yeah, we are. Kindness. kindness. We'll see you next week for a brand new show. Yes, we will. Um, yes, we will. Yeah. Kindness. Mm-hmm.